hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to make these two kitchen towels they have a little dress design with a crochet topper on the bottom they have a sublimated towels they are like kind of funny design so they are so beautiful you can use it for clean or, or dry your hands when you are cooking. And it is also a nice idea to decorate your stub. Let's start with the tutorial. I'm using Worst Way Yarn number four and crochet hook four millimeters and two kitchen towels. If you like this, designs you can get it in our store natalieaspot.etsy.com this is our store of crochet patterns so you go to the section called crochet lovers gifts there you can order these beautiful towels it's gonna be with the free crochet pattern PDF file, okay? I start making 40 chains. Slip a stitch on first chain to form a ring. Chain three, these count as one double crochet okay so we want to work one double crochet in each chain across to the end The total of stitches is 40. Slip stitch on top of the beginning chains. Chain three. This count as a double crochet as well. And you will work uh, one individual, one increase, one individual, one increase. Okay, this is the individual now in the next work two double crochet in the same space that will be the increase okay this is individual this is the increase next is the individual stitch next the increase remember the increase are two double crochet in the same space so this is the pattern you gonna repeat all across to the end. Okay, at the end you're gonna have 60 stitches in total. Slip a stitch on top of beginning chains. For the next row, chain three, count, this count as one stitch. You're gonna work one double crochet in each stitch across to the end. This, this round is so simple. At the end, you're gonna have 60 stitches as the previous round okay slip stitch on top of beginning chains now in the next round we're gonna we're gonna start making the fin stitches so work chain three one double crochet Ch 
chain two and two double crochet all in the same space this is your first fan stitch okay skip two stitches and the next you want to work another fan stitch two double crochet two chains and two double crochet in the same space okay this is the pattern you are gonna repeat all across to the end skip two stitches and the next work that fan stitch two double crochet two chains two double crochet Okay, continue working like this. At the end, you're gonna have 20 fan stitches in total. Slip a stitch on top of beginning chains. Okay, for the next, you wanna work chain 10, slip a stitch in the same space. This is a little loop. We will need this loop for the bottom at the end. Then work a slip stitch to get the middle of the next fin stitch. So work another fin stitch It's two fan, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet in the same space. Work another fan stitch in the next stitch. I mean in the next fan stitch. Okay, you have two fan stitch. You want to work five fan stitches. We have the one, two, three, four, and five. The six. This is the last one. You're gonna work this fan a little different because chain three and a slip stitch in the same space. Okay, you complete your six fan stitches. Now we need the another loop. For the other button so work the chain 10 and a slip stitch in the same space so you're gonna have two loops and six fan stitches you can fasten off and wave the ends. Cutting your yarn. Insert the hook in the mid into the middle of the first fin and work chain three, double crochet, chain two. And double and two double crochet in the same space. In the next, do the same thing two double crochet, two chains. Two double crochet okay this is your second fan stitch you want to work six in total six fan stitches okay this is the last one turn your work slip stitch one and two to get the middle of the next fan stitch chain three 
double crochet two chains and double crochet two so you want to work another six fan stitches as well We're going to work the last two slip stitches, chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, okay. Then, before work the other fin, work chain one. So this rose is a little different because we are adding the chain one between each fin stitch. This is the only difference. Okay, continue working like that. Chain one. And uh, in the next fan stitch, work your fan stitch to double crochet, chain two, to double crochet. Okay, repeat until you get the six fan stitches. Okay, this is the end. we just completed the back of the dress so you can cut your 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 yarn fast enough and wave the ends okay and you're gonna work the front the front of the dress okay for the back we're gonna skip four fan stitches mark with a stitch marker And the other side is the same. Skip four fan stitches, and there is the end. So, these one, two, three, four, five, and six fan stitches. There is a, where you have to work. Insert your hook in the place you mark we want to make the same team the same thing we want to work one two three four rows of fan stitches four row of six fan stitches okay remember the last row of fan stitches has one chain between each Fan stitch. So basically, you're gonna wear the same thing of the back of the dress, but with no loops, little loops. Rem remember the loops of ten chains. We will not make that. Just the six fan stitches in each row. So I repeat the same thing all across to the end, okay? Okay, here I just complete the two parts, front and back. And when you fold it, this is how it looks. You're going to put two buttons in here, two buttons here, and this is the little dress, the topper 
of your kitchen towel. Then you're gonna start making the the other part, the bottom. So this is the towel. Um, this is how it looks. The kitchen towels. They are sublimated towels. We're gonna cut this in half, like this. Here, I'm going to make uh, some stitches with my sewing machine. You can do, you can use your sewing machine. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can do it by hand with the thread and needle. Okay. I'm going to make uh, the zigzag stitch. like this okay uh, we're gonna take one towel and we're gonna fold like this be careful this is very center so we're gonna do these little pleats we're gonna do the needle basting just like this Take the crochet part and using a needle and thread, matching thread, remember, in this case I'm using red thread because I use I used the red yarn. So I'm gonna sew this by hand. I like this part hand. I like to make this part by hand, no, no with the sewing machine. Okay, this is how it looks. So beautiful. You're gonna do the same thing with the back, front and back. It's so beautiful. I like it. And at the end, you wanna sew the the two buttons. I'm using clear, clear. Or transparent buttons because they match with any color of yarn I'm I use this button because the kitchen towel was keeping moving so it prevents that so it can keep in the same space in the same space sorry i don't speak perfect english well anyway i hope you like this tutorial i hope you can crochet these please subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet give me a thumb up please share with your friends with people you know that like crochet so thank you bye bye